hands of Taylor Stell. Stell hit by a pitch. First time up, third time today. Happened two times in the first game of the doubleheader. Newland's thrown 35 pitches, 28 for strikes. One, two, hit to the right side. Nice piece of hit, base hit for Taylor Stell. Very nice. Looking out over the plate. I mean, that's tough for anyone to do after you've been pounded in and hit three times today. Taylor Stell seems just going with the pitch, not trying to do too much. Finds the hole. High home. You can see the pitch was well off the plate. Big long arm. Taylor Stell able to reach. Brings up Eric Weiss. Weiss got his second hit of the series. RBI doubles last time up, putting into the teeth of the wind in right center. There goes Stell, first pitch. Throw down there is high and it's into center field. Taylor's going to try for third. Higgins comes up going into Stell speed, there's no shot. Now, as Gus said, Speed ain't never had a bad day. That's one thing you want to see right there. Young man gets on base and takes off first pitch. Very aggressive. No way you were going to throw him out. Alertly sees the ball thrown into center field. This is a guy we saw get picked off at second base in round rock and beat the throw to third. Beat. Weiss fouls that off. One and one. Infield is back. They'll give up a run, a tying run for it out. Trying to stay out of the big inning. Dell is six for six in stolen bases this season. One, two to Weiss, just tapped. We will look back the runner. Still is going to still try to get home. And he's safe. Boy, that looked close. Frank Anderson's going to ask his catcher and then ask who played umpire Randy Bruns. Still acted like he was going to go back to third, then took off once Whelan went to first. Aggressive play by the freshman. Well, just the speed of Taylor Still. You'll see him break off, see where Whelan's going to throw it. Everything was done right with just credit speed. And catcher Womack did tag him, but he tagged him up on the back side where Stell's long arms had already got in there and touched home plate. Good base running. You see John Walsh on deck. Not directing him where to slide. Uh, Jonathan Walsh should have been up by home plate instead of spectating back there. He should have been up there telling Taylor where to go, but it was obvious with the catcher Womack blocking the plate where he had to slide. He got a belly flop around him. Long arms able to reach in there. This is a long discussion. We've seen Frank get tossed a lot.